In this video, we're going to take you through making your first program that uses a variable to store some data that the user types in and then reuses that saved data in a sentence. So I'm in Visual Studio and I've made a new project. I've called it Variables 1 and I've been careful to make sure it's a Visual Basic project and not Visual C Sharp, which is the option that sometimes defaults to on the menu. So I'm going to start coding here. Now remember, I want the user to type in some data. In fact, I'm going to ask them a question. What is your name? They're going to type in their name and then the program is going to greet them by name. So I need to store what they type in in a variable. And to do that, first I need to make the variable. We call it declaring. So what I'm going to do to declare a variable is use dim and then I'm going to put the name of the variable. Because it's going to store the user's name, I'm going to call it name, give it a sensible title. And then I've got to say as and say what data type it's going to be. Now the user is going to type in text here, so I'm going to use a string variable. Okay. Now you'll notice that my name has gone green on the line, that's because I haven't used it yet. So now, a couple of lines down, I've not inserted my comments by the way, don't forget to do that yourself. A couple of lines down, I am um, going to write the line that asks the user the question. So console.writeLine brackets and in speech marks the question I want to appear so what is your name there we are next line I want the program to read what the user has typed so we're going to use console.readLine open and close brackets but that won't put what the user types into the variable to do that we've got to put before this line we've got to put name equals so there's my variable name and it means save whatever the user types in into this variable you've called name finally and again you should be commenting as you go I'm going to write a line that uses whatever stored in the name variable in a sentence. So I need my console.writeLine, control copy, I've just copied and pasted it, and here I'm going to put in speech marks, hello, because and a space, because that's the text that's going to appear exactly, and I'm going to have another space and an and, so shift 7, and then I'm going to put the word name, not in speech marks. So what this does is it prints the word hello to the console, the word hello to the console, and then it looks to see what's been stored in this name variable, and it puts whatever's been stored after it. This and means join. We call it concatenate in computer programming, but it just means join it onto this text. So let's give it a whirl. Build started. It's moving slowly for me this morning. Okay, it looks like something's happening. Here we go. What is your name? So it's now read lining. We're, we've done that first line. And we're on to this second line. It's going to wait till I type something in and press enter. And it's going to save that value into the name variable. And it said hello, sir. And instantly quit because I didn't put another console read console.read line at the end. Schoolboy error. There we go. So that would make it pause at the end. You might have seen the message. Let's try it again. What is your name? Sir. Hello. Sir. Because sir was saved in the name variable. If I typed in Dave, it would have said, hello, Dave. So once you've written this program, have a look at the challenge program that you've got set in the lesson. Off you go.